April 15, Wednesday within the octave of Easter, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. That very day, the first day of the week, two of Jesus' disciples were going to a village seven miles from Jerusalem called Emmaus. And it happened that while they were conversing and debating, Jesus himself drew near and walked with them. But their eyes were prevented from recognizing him. He asked them, What are you discussing as you walk along? What sort of things? They said to him, The things that happened to Jesus the Nazarene, how our chief priests and rulers both handed him over to a sentence of death and crucified him. But we were hoping that he would be the one to redeem Israel. Some women from our group however, have astounded us. They were at the tomb early in the morning and did not find his body. They came back and reported that they had indeed seen a vision of angels who announced that he was alive. And he said to them, Oh, how foolish you are! How slow of heart to believe all that the prophet spoke! Was it not necessary that Christ should suffer these things and enter into his glory? Then, beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them what referred to him in all the scriptures. As they approached the village to which they were going, he gave the impression that he was going on farther. But they urged him, Stay with us, for it is nearly evening and the day is almost over. So he went in to stay with them. And it happened that, while he was with them at table, he took bread, said the blessing, broke it, and gave it to them. With that, their eyes were open and recognized him, but he vanished from their sight. So they set out at once and returned to Jerusalem, where they found gathered together the eleven and those with them, who were saying, The Lord has truly been raised and has appeared to Simon. Then the two recounted what had taken place on the way and how he was made known to them in the breaking of the bread. The Gospel of the Lord The Christ should suffer these things. Although Jesus admits that he is the Messiah of the house of David, he says that far from a powerful political figure, the Messiah is a man of suffering. The reason Jesus, who walks unrecognized with the two disciples, explained to the disheartened men that the Christ should suffer these things and enter into his glory. There is no specific scriptural passage about the suffering of the Messiah. We should rather speak of Luke's and the Christian's global interpretation of the scriptures as referring to Jesus. Jesus.